So what is up everyone? Today I will take you with me on the journey of another step in replacing this, my old NAS, with my new XSurf RAID system. So come with me on this journey. So guys, here you can see my new, uh, my old Buffalo Link Station. Um, you can take this cover off, and there we see what's happening in there. We have four drives, and in every drive bay there is a three terabyte hard drive. Um, this entire box makes a um, RAID 5, so that makes something like 9 terabyte of available space in RAID 5. So, yeah, as you see, this isn't the this is something like part number 10 of my XF RAID hack build and because um, I'm short of space in this box it's quite a lot over half full and I have a lot more of data that will come so today I will take the, da the data off of this RAID system because if you have a RAID system, the data is split between those drives and if you take them out and put them in another box, um, you can't read the data because it is um, because the CPU of this unit has to know where everything goes together and therefore you need the RAID controller but every RAID controller is different and therefore I have to secure the data from those hard drives to another hard drive and this hard drive um, if, if, I, if I saved all of the data I can um, remove those hard drives out of here and I can um, I can delete the RAID system in there and I can reuse those hard drives in my new XSurf RAID server. Okay, now we are on my main computer and we can have a look at the Buffalo Link Station within the software menu so there it is and there you can see it is an hard drive RAID 5 and at the moment it could save up to 8.3 terabytes of storage data storage and in the moment I use 65 of this, 65 percent of this, so I have 5.5 terabyte of data on it. So, what I did is I bought a 5 terabyte USB 3 external hard drive from Intenso. It is um, it is one of the cheapest hard drives you can buy um, but the advantage of those hard drives are that Intenso is just the name of or the, the brand of the hard drive case the hard drive itself will be from a good um, 
a good manufacturer like Western Digital or Seagate. So we will see which one it is. So let's unbo unbox this. So there you have it guys. This is the external hard drive from Intenso and it has 5 terabytes. It uses um, an USB 3 interface um, and it is also USB 2 compatible and it is a 3.5 inch model. I chose this because it is um, at the moment it is one of the best um, price value packages you can buy especially for um, a really good hard drive which will be in this case so let's open this thing up So in there we get a little bit of foam. There is a white box in which the USB cable, a manual and the power brick is. In. Then we have a bit of foam and the hard drive itself. So there you guys have it. It is quite a neat little design, but it is very attractive to fingerprints. But I won't use the hard drive um, case itself. Um, I won't use it um, after doing the install anymore so um, what you get is a really good hard drive for a cheaper price than if you would buy the hard drive on its own it's cheaper to buy it with this case and then remove the case later on but um, for saving my data I will use um, this case with it. Okay, now I've mounted the hard drive in on my main PC. There we have it. And it has 4.54 terabytes of free storage but the problem is on my RAID I have 5.5 terabyte of data so we are missing one terabyte of storage space I have another hard drive sitting around and I will use that for that process but in the meantime I will go on copying starting copying all my files to this backup drive so 
I won't bother you with this process. I will do it on my own and but I hope you've enjoyed this process and I hope I hope that you can learn that you did learn that um, those intense so drives aren't that bad and I really would highly recommend you to buy those um, for good hard drives from amazing manufacturers for a lot less in price than if you would buy those hard drives from those manufacturers instead. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye. One side note. I've started this process by moving um, my biggest folder, which are the movies I, ha I own, um, to my hard drive. Um, it is connect. Uh, my hard drive is connect. Uh, my RAID is connected um, through a gigabit port to a gigabit switch to my PC, and the hard drive is connected via a uh, USB 3 port, and we are now getting. something like 90 megabytes per second so that means I will move something like 4 terabyte in 13 hours so this process will take a long 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 time so what I did I copied those files so that if something goes wrong in this time no files will be hurt and I will have the originals on the RAID as well so I would recommend you to copy those files goodbye